Sore throats for so many, unavoidable, especially in the winter months. But heading to the surgery should be a last resort, not your first thought. New guidance saying that doctors should not be offering antibiotics so easily, with prescriptions often being pointless. We know that the majority of, of sore throats are viral, so it seems very um, unusual that we're also prescribing a majority of them antibiotics that aren't going to be working on them. I, I do think we need to start reining back our antibiotic prescription. More than a quarter of GP appointments in the UK made for respiratory tract infections are for sore throats, with antibiotics prescribed in 60% of cases. Expert advice is that symptoms should be managed with pain relief, such as paracetamol. Such medication may only reduce our pain levels by a little, but dealing with it at home is a small inconvenience compared to the headache that the medical profession will face if we don't change our attitudes as a whole. Too many antibiotics are being used, which is resulting in drug-resistant bacteria, which are killing people, at least 700,000 a year across the world. And that's getting worse, and there are no new antibiotics in the pipeline ready to use. So we could lose modern medicine. That's some statement to take in, especially for the younger generations who in the future it may affect. These are simple things we learn in GCSE, to be honest, that antibiotics won't help with a sore throat. If we overuse it, then at some point it's going to stop working, we're going to become resistant, yeah. As most viral infections clear up within a week, antibiotics are counterproductive. You're better off with those over-the-counter remedies. Richard Palo, ITV News.